barrel magnet, we need to obtain 10 milliliters of water, which we will get from this graduated cylinder. Take note. Slightly sloppy. Hmm. A little over. <laughs> Good. Next, we need 10 milliliters of PCV action, which can be found at most common radio shacks. <laughs> We are combining both the etching and the water. Down, chicka, wow, wow. Notice how the solution forms. Very nice, very scientific. A piece, A piece. of steel wool. Steel wool. Yeah. Wow, you're so strong. <laughs> wow, I'm so strong. <laughs> now let's analyze the reaction for our scientific method. Two moles of ferric chloride combined with a mole of iron to form three moles of ferrous chloride and this gives a solution that can react with the PCB etchant to form some magnetite, baby. Now John's gonna teach Courtney how to filter using a little origami. He's from Japan, or wherever he's from. Hi John. Thank you John. Now on to filtering which could be made much faster with the Buchner funnel. So. We don't have that, so we're going to wait, and wait. Hmm. Now we add 20 milliliters of PCB etchant to the solution because this PCB etchant, which is iron 3 chloride, reacts with iron 2 chloride in a 2 to 1 ratio. Now we're going to take 150 milliliters of ammonia because these graduated cylinders are only 100 we need to. Now we're going to pour the 150 milliliters of ammonia into the solution to precipitate out the magnetite, which is what we're going to isolate and suspend in the solution of oleic acid as a surfactant. One a graduated cylinder. Ooh. Now we add 5 milliliters of oleic acid as the surfactant. A surfactant is a, any fatty acid that coats a particle so it's suspended in solution. It acts like a colloid. And that colloid, of course, is a solution made up of suspended particles, such as milk, where the fat particles are suspended in solution. Mm -hmm. Good. We then add the solution to heat in order to isolate the olea ion, which will attach to the magnetite and bind as a surfactant, giving us a liquid solution which acts as a colloid and a liquid magnet. And then we wait. We wait for approximately an hour until the ammonia has evaporated. Notice almost all of the ammonia has boiled off, and we are ready to remove the beaker from the hot plate and allow it to cool. Yeah. We are now going to remove the solution from heat. Notice the brilliant piece of engineering. Safety first. Now we add 100 milliliters of kerosene to isolate the magnetite and oleic acid, leaving the water behind and giving us a ferrofluid. We now need to decant, or in other words, skim off the top layer to give us the remaining liquid magnet. John. Will now give us a little bit of the liquid magnet to play with, so that we can observe its properties. Ooh yeah. Notice it is magnetic. It draws it up. But because everything looks better in slow motion, let's take a gander. Ooh. Everybody was coming.
ਬਦਕੋਤ 